shine telephone company suddenly overrun with the little known effluvium with bug <coughs> has stopped all operations. <coughs> While the Limburger Industries Pesticide Division attempts to <coughs> control this overwhelmingly stinky infestation. <coughs> oh, this is <coughs> carrot <coughs> diddle. <coughs> Get out of here. Fly free, my sweet, fragrantly foul little whiff bugs. Oh, I'm going to miss them so. The matter constrictor is now fully operational, your queasy case of DNS. Then bring me that unoccupied building over there, would you please? One building via telephone line. And tastefully set in translucent marble, just waiting for the merest drop of water to release it. Oh, my dear doctor, this really is quite exquisite. Prepare your matter constrictor to place calls to each and every telephone in the city. And then in less time than it takes to hang up on the telemarketer, <laughs> Chicago will go to Plutarch in a hand blast. <laughs> Stink bugs, bros. I'd say Limburg is chumming for action. And he better firmly plant his feet. Because there's going to be three biker mice from Mars at the end of his line. Uh-oh, boys. Biker mice is alert. Ah! They have the worst time. No problem, Ski boys. My goons is all ready for them. Speaking of which, boys, uh, the coons asked me to speak to you on their behalf about those raises you promised them. Oh, we'll discuss that unappreciated bevy of boneheads later. You lubricant leaking lummox. <laughs> what, no greeting, no goon platoon parade? Hello? We're here! I don't care for this quiet, bros. It feels kind of like a trap. His orders, cough, stay down, and have lots of liquids. Quickly, Carbuncle, commence matter constriction now. Your tiniest demand is my fondest wish, your coagulated cottage cheesiness. <laughs> A fuse, didn't you, you hassock head? Ah! Hey, why don't you hang around for a bit, pal? <laughs> Day's coming! Oh, Day's coming! <clears throat> Up, Uncle! <laughs> well, that should keep the pigeons away. Not to mention folks with weak stomachs. Yeah. Hey, what's that misdialed Marlin head want with the phone company? Uh, we're hot wired, your Gouda Grampus Nest. Uh. <laughs> now that's called forwarding. Long distance. That's just as well. Let's go reload, bros. Then we'll pay that purple pompadour Pisces a cold call he will never forget. Lynn Wagner's Karat! 
No! Alas, poor serfs. Lawrence Limburger needs not your services. But where's we gonna get replacement goons, boys? Where we always get them, you twaddling twit. From our cadets at the Limburger Academy of Hard Knocks. Yeah, but gee, boss, because of those motor mices, we had to already graduate the whole school. There ain't no cadets left. Oh, for the love of Pike! Oh, well, I just ease up on operations and wake them out. After all, time is on my side. <laughs> Hey! Look who's revolting more than usual. I <laughs> couldn't have happened to a nicer guppy. Well, since we're dropping him a line anyway, bros, let's say we give him our condolences personally. Aerial attack! Bros, I get the distinct feeling that we're being provoked. <laughs> You vexing vermentia. Labor action indeed. I'll personally blast you into a forensics nightmare. Oh, yes. I needed this. <laughs> I think he's done provoking and moved on to attack. Which, of course, invokes our license to retaliate. Hey, crack a smile once in a while. Gotta reach out and torch somebody. What do we do, boss? Get out there and fight, you yellowback barnacles. Defend my empire. Uh, I believe this would be an opportune time to discuss our pay raises, your dapper dollop of butterine. Why, you degenerate dolts! No raises! Either you get out there and blast those mice, or you're fired! Do you hear me? Terminated! Deep Six! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, was I supposed to be thinking? Well, trickles downhill. <laughs> With no second string, old Coach Limburg has got to forfeit the game. Well, how about we give him a good scaling anyway? No, no, he's sizzling on his own grill, so he's basically harmless. Let him fry while we ride. Okay, but you understand, I now have no closure in this battle. <sighs> the best laid schemes of mice and men leave us naught but grief and pain. Wait, I don't need them. After all, I am stinking rich. I'll just buy new subordinates. But who shall I hire to recruit new goons for my academy? It must be someone tough as nails. Someone prone to ruling with a proverbial iron fist. And that someone is... <coughs> the Pulverizer. <laughs> Look at you, you pathetic, plush-butted, blue-perfect plutocrat! A man never won a war in a purple suit and black limousine! Uh, yes, quite. But time is a running short, General. Where are those goons I hired you to train? You can't build dog soldiers out of silk purses, Wimpburger! I was forced to recruit from outside the friendly perimeter. Oh, really? Exactly how far outside? <laughs> Seems adequate, dear general. I grind adequate soldiers under my boot. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I like it very, very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, dear General. <laughs> Delightfully right on target. <laughs> they certainly are. 
In closing these graduation ceremonies, I leave you with this. Ask not what Chicago can do for you, ask rather what you can take from Chicago. <laughs> bomb threat or something? Yeah, it was a bomb threat. <laughs> oh! Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do, Do your ears hang low? Hang low. Ow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one more time. A one and a two. A one, two, three. Oh, do you? Yeah. Time for the flip side, bros. Mm. It's tail with the time. Oh, yeah. Let's rock and. You know, it's getting harder and harder to make a really cool exit these days. Mama! While we've been recreating, Limburg has been devastating. I knew we should have lacquered that trap when we had the chance. It's Deb, our prime directives. Attack! Whoa, there's some serious resentment here. Get, get a shot off! Fall back and regroup! <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> Give me a lever long enough. And a fulcrum strong enough and single-handed, I can move the world. <laughs> Archimedes of Syracuse. We shall attack and attack until we are exhausted. And then we shall attack again. Major General George S. Patton, Jr. Why are you here, Pulverizer? Get back out there and finish off those runaway rats. Negatory on the command, non-combatant. I'm occupying this hill now. What? Oh, indeed. You and whose army? Your army. Oh, quite. But, ha! Have you truly forgotten that I have the mighty Plutarchian leadership standing behind me? You mean this Plutarchian leadership? Hello, Limburger. Or should I say, goodbye, Limburger. <laughs> but, Lord Camembert, how could you turn against me, your most loyal of disciples? Well, it's simplicity itself, Limburger. Pulverizer is valuable to me, and you are not. So consider yourself out on your guild. Effective immediately! <laughs> I really must protest this decision. <laughs> Gentlemen, comrades, please. I too am among the ever oppressed downtrodden, a blameless victim of heartless cutbacks and managerial callousness. Oh, good. That must mean the strike's over. Let's go get some eats. <laughs> Oh, Carbuncle, I wish to discuss a plan with you that would put us all back in the big pond with a lucrative bonus. Interesting? Yes, of course, your overgrilled cheesiness. Always glad to connive. <laughs> Hello. Is anybody at home? <laughs> Just does mice. <coughs> but something tells me he knew that. You're absolutely right. But contrary to any historical precedents, I came to this hallowed, most neutral ground, this garage, this grease spot, to offer my sincerest sympathy to you in the loss of your comrade. He ain't lost. 
Just recuperating. No thanks to you and your full metal lackey, the pulverizer. You must understand. That ham-fisted Korea cretin has taken control of the Limburger Empire, and Chicago will just as surely follow. Now, I've developed a plan to stop him, but it will take the three of us to implement it. The three of us? Hmm, now there's a thought. What do you mean, hmm? This fish patty riding with us? Well, he would make a big fat diversionary target. <laughs> Deal, fish gut. Just. just try not to embarrass us, okay? Certainly not. You know, I've always fancied myself as someone well suited for the open road. The wind in my gills, tasty bugs in my teeth. Now, where's a vehicle I can ride? Born to be reviled. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> this may be more than my carefully crafted image can bear. Whoa. I must be hurt worse than I thought. Now I'm seeing things. Aha! I knew it. An early morning strike. So typical of freedom fighters. Make that freedom fighters in one fat. Flounder. <laughs> the enemy is upon us. This is war. I love it. <laughs> ah, ho, ho. Let's ride and rock free residents. Uh, um, uh, or is it citizens? Oh, oh man. man. I have seen the biker mice, and they are mine. Attack! <laughs> Time to implement my plan, no oh furry ones. Occupy yourselves with keeping them distracted and leave the rest to the master of machinations. <laughs> I can't believe you went tail with it without me, bros. Oh, there's plenty to go around. B Company, C Company, charge! Huh? Oh, man! We're wow. back! And so is the matter constrictor, new and improved, as you requested my cheese puffiness. Uh, you may proceed as planned, dear doctor. Uh, but leave the mice and pulverizer until the very end. After I enjoy watching them destroy each other, I want them stuffed and mounted so I may rub them in Camembert's perfidious face. Whoa! Hey, cool! I'll trade you that Aggie for a tiger eye. Prisoners of war, all of them. Ah, uh, it'll do them good. Oh. Hang back, Rose. He's all gone. It's B-Day Pulverizer. B for Biker Mice. Your torpedo? What's this war coming to? I shall return! Well, with this nasty ordeal behind us, let us concentrate once more on collecting a bushel of these delightful, matter-constricted buildings. Oh, your budget boogeyness. There seems to be trouble in the air. And what? First light? Retrench and come out fighting. A soldier never won a war in a purple suit. Oh, of course. Everything all right, bros? Oh, yeah, sure. Just a little war torn. Yeah, but at least we didn't lose our marbles in the heat of battle, right? Yeah, great. <laughs> Hey, say, Vinny, uh, clue me in, will you, bro? Yeah? Y you didn't have Limburger in your sidecar earlier, did you? <laughs> Why do you ask? Ah, uh, nuts.